All right, guys, let's take a look at this complete tire changing kit from Vivor. It comes with everything you need, including a hazard sign on the box. So if you're ever on the side of the road changing a tire, this will definitely warn others for facing upcoming traffic. This is an emergency kit you're definitely gonna wanna get, so let's check it out and see what's in the box. Here is everything that is included in the kit. First, it comes with a five ton hydraulic lift. It comes with a built-in air pump on one side, and on the other side, it comes with built-in fittings, even a light, so if you're on the side of the road, you can get helped out with a very bright light. Also, it comes with this impact wrench. It has a level on the top, so that is really neat. And then it comes with this 12 volt power source, so this can get plugged into your cigarette lighter in your vehicle, and this end can get plugged into your wrench or your compressor. If you don't have access or able to hook this up into the inside of your car, no worries because it comes with this adapter and all you have to do is hook this up to your battery. Next thing it comes with is four reversible sockets. So the first one, you have a 17 on one side and a 19 on the other. And then this one right here, you have 21 on one side and 23 on the other side. Next is this rubber top. It goes right here and that's if you run into pinch weld. The last two things is it comes with this headlamp. It's LED headlamp, it takes three AAA batteries. And here is the band that goes with it. Very nice that they put everything that you possibly will need if you're ever changing a tire on the side of the road. So what I really like about this, as again, is it comes with gloves. It's one size, so I don't know if everyone will be able to fit this, but it's good that they have it just in case. So that's everything that comes in the box. Now let's go test out the hydraulic lift and the power wrench. All right, Tyler did the unboxing, so let's try this thing out, see how it works. I think we plug the, get the power right here. Plug this in. And here's the air compressor. It has that built-in air compressor too. So we're gonna start out, plug it into the AC adapter, the cigarette lighter. All right, got the power turned on. Let's just get a measurement, see how high it is. Looks like right at six inches. And then all you gotta do is hit up. It's gonna start to raise. And it's not too loud either. It ain't bad. I just wanna see how tall it gets. So just remember six inches is the lowest it goes. So you might want to measure your spot well down here and see if you got enough room. All right, let's extend it all the way up. And that is right at maybe 15 inches. But the only thing is you have to stop it because it it'll just keep trying to go up. So you just hit these buttons. You just hit it again and it stops. So let's see how it works jacking the car up. I wonder if you could use the air compressor and the jack. Oh, I got a light on it too. We got a light, let's try everything. So you can't do the jack and the air compressor. All right, you need to find where you would put your jack at on this pinch wheel. It's usually gonna be between these two notches. Get it centered, and then you just hit up. And you don't want to jack it up too high, just enough to where your tire clears the ground. All right, for the impact, let's try this adapter that goes on the battery. I'm just curious if it would reach all the way to the back. This is the negative, put this on the positive. And these sockets, I've never seen reversible sockets, like one side 17, this is 19, this is 21, 23. You just pick out the right one for you. All right, so the impact wrench, 
it kind of works. I don't know, you have to watch it. See how it keeps hitting and then it breaks it loose. That's a little different than normal, but it gets it off. So it works good. Let's see if it'll reach all the way to the back. It reaches here. I don't think it's going to reach the other back tire. So you probably have to use the AC adapter. Oh, it reaches. So you could do that. Reaches all four tires. All right, the last feature we'll talk about is the air pump. And it has, you can set it to whatever you want. You just screw this on. You can set it to 36, 36 and a half. On this side has all kind of fittings. And it reached the 36, actually 37. So air pump works great. This is a great tool to have in your car. So this emergency kit, you're definitely gonna to wanna to get. It's super easy and it's super quick. Anyone can do it. If you're interested, the link's in our description below. Vivo gave us the discount code, so make sure you go check that out and we'll see you in the next one.